Okay, here is the back of the license plate holder. Shows you some of the construction of it. I've got, of course, a couple of bolts to fasten the license plate to the license plate holder. Also, this mechanism here is the light. And, of course, it's got a bracket that was specially made to hold a license and a light. <clears throat> Down here, Down here, very interesting. This little bolt right here at the end of my finger, that is the bolt that is going to attach the uh, ground for the light. It has to have a ground. And then the whole trailer is going to be the ground. And I also have another place where I'm going to put uh, the other ground. <clears throat> Down here. Right there, at the end of my finger, there's a, a hole that I uh, drilled and tapped. And I used the drill itself to tap it with a tap and it doesn't matter where the ground goes it does matter that you have one okay have you ever heard the expression things are not always as it seems do not use this now I have an 07 Dodge 1500 you cannot use this little uh, card that came with the connector. What make is this for? Well, it doesn't say. I have a Dodge. What if this is made for a Chevy or a Ford or a Toyota or some other type of thing? All right. Another thing is that up here, I put a little X in white. Um, I bought a paint pen. If you never heard of a paint pen, it's exactly as it sounds. It's paint, but it's in a container that um, you can use to mark things. Now this one is accurate. Um, and I made my own drawing and the way that I did that was I got a um, multimeter and I went under the truck and found this connector right here. This is how I knew which connector to use. Now uh, Chrysler uses a round one in some of their vehicles and I don't know if that's factory or if that's an aftermarket one. But this is the thing that I found. Uh, here is the ground, as it says up here. The next one is the running lights, right there, right there. And also, I made a white X on this connector that's under the truck. The next one is the left. The next one is the right and the brake light. I'm not sure why they run together like that, but whatever. And then I made note that I put a white X on here. Now you have to match up the white X's. On this connector and on the truck. You have to match up the two white X's. They have to face the same way. That's why I put the white X on there. So, <clears throat> you can't judge a book by its cover. That's definitely true. All right, now we'll go on to the next section. Okay, here is one of the grounds that I've been talking about. This is the connector that is going to connect 
the trailer <clears throat> this one is for the trailer the one under the truck under the back bumper it's got a little cover on it uh, that cover tends to fall off and then it corrodes the uh, electrical connections but now the reason I'm showing this is because here is the ground according to the paper that I had showed earlier and here's the connection right here and then here is another connection and I'm going to take a little bolt one of the uh, holes that I showed that was drilled and tapped this is going to attach to that and so make sure that you have a long enough wire for that ground because it's got to be grounded it cannot work without ground if you don't have a ground it's not your system is not going to work these little things here can be bought at just about any automotive store I bought this one at Walmart and it's good enough for what I need to do this one has more modern type of connectors for 2022 actually is when I bought it and this one is a little bit older probably from the early 2000s I've used so many of these also <clears throat> to connect these you have to have one of these crimping tools now <clears throat> according to this which some of the words on here are not too legible because it's rusty but right here is a cutter in the middle right here is a cutter up here is the crimping tool what's that for that's to crimp these connectors and these especially I learned back in the 70s that these can be used for simple connections on especially automotive equipment <clears throat> that's what these are and uh, also if you want to use it there's holes here around here and you can use the numbers of the gauges that these are labeled as and you can cut wire this way you put the wire you hold it like this open it up a little put the wire in there and then cut it like that I use this kind of cutter side cutters as they're called but these tools this one here is a little bit wore out and maybe I will have to go get a different one but these are very handy for this these type of crimping tools here's another pair of side cutters All right, I marked this RUN for running lights. So this one is going to have to be for the running lights. And another thing is, I'm going to route these, this wire right here, this green wire under here. All right, under the plate, and then we'll uh, tie it down later. All right, these, this one right here, I'll show you that. Okay, this is the white one. Hook her up. All right, that's turn signal. So this is the left turn signal. So I'm going to mark that also. Now I'm going to make a fixture It's going to help me a little bit to hold wires while I'm soldering.
Gudi. I don't know what kind of wire this is, but I cannot solder it, and it's sort of a silver color. I'm trying to show it with this uh, flashlight, but it's not working out that great. But anyways, you got still those automotive connectors, and that's what I'm going to use. Okay, this is the right turn signal. Always make sure you uh, pull on the wire. Make sure that it's connected like that. Just pull on it a little bit. Don't put your shrink tube on. Make sure that the connector is centered on both ends. Watch your fingers. Alright, one of the things you're going to have to make sure of is that you have these grounds on. There's one here, and there's one up there. It's right by that piece of steel that's laying across there. Get it awful tight and make sure that before you even hook that up that you ground a little spot there that's clear of rust or paint. Alright, here's the drilled and tapped hole. Quarter inch. Put a washer on it. It's gonna need it. Now this washer is a split washer so that it won't come loose. Okay, don't tighten it too much because quarter inch bolts are famous for snapping. Put a little dielectric grease on it. Also, I took uh, electronics cleaner and cleaned it. Cleaned the uh, one on the truck. As you can see, it's a little bit green in there. I suppose that's the electronic uh, cleaner that's working. So I may just spray that out a little bit more. All right, now it begins the big task of putting all these wire ties on. Make sure that they are not going to interfere with the drive wheels, especially. I mean, with the wheels, especially. <clears throat> All right, now we got to uh, put these wire ties on. So make sure that you uh, get some that you can use. Now another thing is, I'm putting this wire on the outside of this trough here because this is where I'm going to put my wood right here. All right, now I uh, put wire ties around this thing here and I did not want any of it up in here because uh, I don't want it to get tangled up with the chains. Um, if you want to wrap it up a little bit more, that's up to you. All right, I put this on the connections up there uh, because I wanted to, first of all, 
protect the uh, area, especially where it plugs into the truck. And I also put this uh, on the connection that's on the truck. All right, now we're going to test it out. Uh, over here, we got the right turn signal. Okay, there's the brake light. How are the running lights next? Okay, there's the running lights. So everything works, and that's how it should be.